The Age Discrimination in Employment Act, ADEA, is a federal law which prohibits employment discrimination against people 40 years of age or older on the basis of age. There are several types of claims which may be filed on the basis of age under the ADEA, for which both monetary and non-monetary relief may be available. Claims may be filed in four categories. The first is desperate treatment. This claim implies an element of intent, the intent to discriminate because of age. Disparate impact claims are those where company policy presents as age neutral, but whose practices significantly impact those who are 40 and older. The third type of claim, harassment, can include, for example, offensive or derogatory remarks about a person's age. Although the law doesn't prohibit simple teasing, offhand comments, or isolated incidents that aren't very serious, Harassment is illegal when it is so frequent or severe that it creates a hostile or offensive work environment or when it results in an adverse employment decision, such as being fired or demoted. Finally, it is also unlawful to retaliate against an individual for opposing employment practices that discriminate based on age or for filing an age discrimination complaint or charge, testifying, or participating in any way in an investigation proceeding or litigation under the ADEA. Bill applied for a promotion internally to field agent, investigating fraud and government farm subsidies. With years of experience and an agricultural degree, Bill was not selected, but was passed over for a new hire, Dan, 24, a recent graduate of a technical school without any of Bill's experience or a degree. The law is clear that forced retirement, based on age, not ability to do the job, is generally unlawful though there are some exceptions. For example, some jobs in the federal government have mandatory retirement age set by law, such as air traffic controllers and firefighters. There is also a bona fide occupational qualification, BFOQ, exception available to private, state, and local government employers, which usually applies to positions of public safety, such as airline pilots who fly passengers and must retire at age 65. Age discrimination can include edging out older employees due to a lack of training, where the training is only authorized for younger workers. If a team is not educated or held accountable, these claims can leave an employer open to legal liability. Training for every member of the staff who works in management or a hiring capacity is essential. The law is clear. If people are being passed over or asked to resign, or pushed out because management tells them that they are too old for the company's future, that leaves the employer open to age discrimination claims, period. As management, it is imperative that your staff is well-versed on the ADEA guidelines. Ignorance is not an excuse under the law. It does not shield you from legal exposure. Go over each part of the ADEA guidelines with your team and take measures to ensure that department heads understand them and that all employees are properly trained.